everyone this is samrat datta uh, i am one of the product managers uh, from the integration service team and <clears throat> we are going to take a look at uh, a fun and exciting demo uh, that involves workday one drive sharepoint document understanding through google vertex connector and conclude it with a slack message i created this diagram so that it's easier for us to understand what the use case is about uh, because without it we will not understand what we are doing within uipad studio basically the use case is whenever a position is opened in workday we are going to loop over all the available resumes in one of my folders within onedrive so let's assume this is my folder and you can see i have tons of these uh, files or pdfs we are going to send over to document understanding extract pdf activity and with the text that we acquire from document understanding we are going to pass it over to google vertex in order to summarize the cv and respond back with attributes like email first name last name etc etc we want to create a pre hire in workday with the information like first name last name email if the position title is corresponding to any of the uh, attributes within the resume then we are going to create a pre hire in workday and at the end of the process we are going to send a slack message for the new pre hire created so that's my use case so let's now go over what we have within the workflow in studio web while it loads let's go over what kind of pdfs we have so we can see ai product manager amazon product manager api product manager likely the output of this workflow is one or more resumes from this folder with which we are going to create pre hires obviously depending upon the position that we have created right let's go over the workflow steps real quick we have an event trigger like position opened and with that we are going over all of the resume files within downloaded resume folder and i am downloading the file as usual passing it over to extract pdf text with the text that we have extracted from this activity passing it over to google vertex to summarize the cv first and then give us information like email first name last name designation of the candidate and this is the condition if the position title that was open it's corresponding to any attributes of the uh, resume then we are going to create a pre hire in workday and we are going to conclude it with sending us a message right now for that the first step we need to do is create a position because that's how this trigger will be kicked off no need to do it manually uh, where i'm leveraging the create position activity from workday and we're just going to run this workflow once this loads okay what are we passing we are passing the job title as ai product manager uh, and certain required fields we are passing so let's run this workflow without waiting so we have executed this workflow so at this point in time we should have an open position is in workday with the job title as ai product manager so naturally as we can assume this resume is definitely going to be sorted when this workflow runs and any other resumes uh, parallelly right so now let's go back to our main workflow and let's test this trigger once just to make sure that our workflow has something to work with okay so we see that one item matching the filter criteria right so this is okay to be executed right now so let's run this it's 
started to build my project very soon it will be in this event trigger step okay initializing and it will start any time now okay it's running it's within the for each file that is it's reading through all the re downloaded resumes and it's under vertex activities right now it's within creating pre-hire and it's going to do it for all the files within the downloaded regions okay now let's see what's happening in slack so we see that we have a notification and there you go we found a new matching candidate uh, for the position in workday ai product manager and these are the details so this is how we achieved uh, this use case i'm going to stop this uh, so basically this is how we can leverage workday events document understanding AI activities like Google Vertex or OpenAI. You could optionally use OpenAI or Azure OpenAI to do the same stuff. I hope this was uh, fun enough to watch and I hope you enjoy this demo. Thanks a lot.